Hello, YouTube. We're going to watch Super Mario, Mario Brothers. Dip, 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 dip. We're going to watch me punk with myself because I haven't learned that if I talk this fast, I sound like a doofus. Hello YouTube, this is Super Mario Bros. 3. This is a tool assistant speedrun originally made for AGDQ 2016 by Lord Tom. We're going to do this console verification on this console right here, which has been modified in only one way. It has an RGB modification so that there's a very clean video signal for it. Otherwise, this is a completely unaltered console and there's no changes whatsoever to the hardware. So I'm going to power this on. Here goes. So this tool assisted speedrun was made with the FCEUX emulator in what year was this made? It was actually made this was made specifically for SGDQ 2016, so I, I'm sorry, AGDQ 2016. So it was done kind of in the later half of 2015. Uh, if I'm being honest, we did a lot of last minute changes in January, right before the event. You can see here that this tool assisted speedrun is not the normal way that most people try to play Super Mario Brothers. Now one of the things I'd like to comment on here is that it's possible to desynchronize the game if you start from reset instead of power run. And that's because if you press the power switch, it can throw a little bit of a voltage spike at the latch line on the controller, which the replay device that Taskbot is holding interprets as a request for buttons. And we're, we've changed the input to, changed the script to ignore that first little bit of input. So right here, he needs to get behind the black box, but he does it in the most efficient way possible. Starts running so that as he falls off the last pixel, he falls through the white block so he can get behind that black area at the end of the level. This is pretty classic. A lot of people figured this out because it was fairly widely discussed. I think even this, this whistle was given away in either Nintendo Power Magazine or something back in the day. So this one was also relatively early on known. Well, there were some other secrets in this game that were kind of hard to discover, I gotta tell you. They were not obvious. So in this case, he doesn't care what direction the Hammer Brothers move, so long as the Hammer Brother does not move more than once. So the Hammer Mother Brother moved away from him, but that was not a big deal. Warped to level two, so that when he warped again, he ended up in the center part of the warp zone, so he could get to level seven one. Level seven one has some interesting characteristics, including shells in a very specific location that are incredibly useful. So you'll see some really interesting shell juggling here. I love this. No matter how many times I've watched this, it still absolutely impresses me what Lord Tom was able to do. He used memory watches and RAM uh, tools to make this easier. So what's happening here is we've just used a pipe that shouldn't be here, and the result is pretty hilarious. That looks better. Super Mario Brothers 3, backdoor, copyright 1990. We had a bet when someone would find this. I guess 1994, how'd I do? Enjoy, Siguru. Oh, he couldn't color a dinosaur. I'd like to draw your attention to the light show that Taskbot is currently throwing off here. This is a dinosaur, and we will color it, but I want you to note that the green that you're seeing starts out on my TV as a darker shade of green and gradually gets brighter as it gets filled in. And I'm not entirely certain why this effect happens. It's a very interesting phenomenon that I've never completely understood. It might not come in as clearly when you're watching it in this encoded method, but I definitely notice it on my CRT that I'm looking at here, on my professional video monitor, my PVM. <coughs> Excuse me. So 
As you can see, this is fully functional. You could take over the controller at this point and color a dinosaur if you wanted to. And in fact, I have. It's kind of fun. It's not very useful. There are too many sprites on the screen, so the shells get a little glitchy here. But I love that effect. This is not normal. And that is definitely not normal either. Lord Tom had a ton of fun with this run. Doing that inside of water was just showing off. <laughs> off the screen. Warp 2, 1, 4, Shell Shield. Loading. So this level is usually fairly boring, but he spices it up a little bit. Just a little. I love this. <laughs> so that's a glitched sprite. Turns out there are only seven different forms you can take in this game. Including the suit, that really interesting suit. <clears throat> really interesting suit. <laughs> um, so you made it so you could change into any of them, but there's one of them that's just flat out corrupt. And it makes him swim, which is really interesting. Wow, that was wild. <laughs> I've watched this before, but watching it at 60 frames per second Oh, and watch this swag shot right here. <laughs> hey, True. Hey, True North. Welcome. Warp 2, 8, Tank 1, Pwn Scroll. This is such a slow level. Wouldn't it be nice if you could push the level around a little bit? I love that glitchiness. This was shown at GDQ 2016, AGDQ 2016. Now he's just showing off. But everyone would love to be able to get through this level that fast. So here's the right way to do it. <laughs> that glitches the, uh, <laughs> the wrench guy. I can't remember what his name is. Oh, they're, they have a name, but I've forgotten them. <laughs> now he's just messing around. Of course he's been doing that the whole time. It's amazing what this game does when you mess around with it. it. That wasn't changed code. That is just what happens if you force it to go places it shouldn't go. So, of course, you have to go up from here. Right up this. Oh, he missed it. Oh, well. He fixes it. And of course, when you can flip gravity upside down, you can do things that aren't normally possible. You could go through here, but you can also drop down here and turn gravity around again and get through there. Now, I gotta tell you, it's a lot of fun when you get over here to Bowser and you pick out a shell right here. He dies to one shell hit, believe it or not. And that shot is just so ridiculous. <laughs> hey, Nintendo, would you read this for me? Come read this for me. I'll, give you, I'll even give you the voice. Read that. Use this microphone. Taskbot and the lower top of task videos. Hi, Jack. Jack? Wait. Some skin we... Uh, Do you? Segway next? Yes. Why? Because <laughs> it was funny. It wasn't funny at all. It wasn't funny at all? Oh, But we did that to Leo Laporte on This Week in Tech. <laughs> he was expecting the princess to say something funny like, Thanks for saving me, and instead he got snark. 
Well, this is Super Mario Bros. 3, run by TaskBot, made by Lord Tom. Thank you very much for watching.